people from the outside would see me, a black girl with permed hair, and just assume that, oh, she is not proud of her roots, she is not proud of who she is. The outside look doesn't define who you are. Have you drank water today? I hope you did. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Anna Mutombo. Around here, we do adulting 101 videos. Okay, we talk about moving out, what it is like being an adult. Overall, we try to be the best version of ourselves. Okay, I give tips and tricks about everything that I've learned in life so far. I vlog my daily life here and there. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, today, I wanted to talk about a question that I often get, which is normal, I guess. People often ask me, why did you cut your hair? Currently, you cannot see my hair, but I'll insert a picture, okay? I decided almost a year ago to cut my hair, and let me actually show you a picture of my hair, what they used to be. So this is what she looked like at like 12. <laughs> I was actually six. <laughs> what? But my hair have always been like this long, okay? Your girl has thick hair, okay? I've always had a lot of hair. It was always a challenge to handle all of this hair. My mom would always tell me when she would braid my hair or whatever. Like you, in one hole, you have like five hair. It's not normal, you're supposed to have just one. I have a lot. A lot to you and I have dry hair it's always been a challenge for me to maintain this hair so what I would do at a young age I would perm my hair to have it like not to have it straight but it was mostly to be able to like brush it easily overall just to make my life easy but it was straight up I would perm my hair and like back in the early 2000 2005 2010 even it wasn't a big deal I'm gonna air quote this for black girls to perm their hair I know it damaged your hair in some way and whatever and then we started appreciating our natural hair more and that's beautiful but I was never ashamed of my natural hair it's just that people from the outside would see me a black girl with permed hair and just assume that oh she is not proud of her roots she is not proud of who she is no, 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 sis. I am proud to be black all the way, alright? But my hair was such a challenge. I did not have time for that, especially that since I had to be in school at like 7 in the morning. Like, who got time? No, 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 no. Like, when my hair would be braided, that would be fine. But when they would be out, it was a struggle. I'll just say it. I said what I said. So, I would permit and it would still be thick. <laughs> it would still be thick, just wasn't as curly. So yeah, my hair was always a challenge and I had to take care of my hair by myself and whatever. And other than that, I've always seen like Ali Berry and women like her with short hair. I would always be like, when I'll be 30, I'm cutting my hair. I knew that when I'll be a woman, okay, I would, I would have short hair and drive a Cadillac. I knew this for a fact, a fact, okay? But I decided earlier, when I was 22, I was like, okay, the time is now, I'm doing it right now. Especially because I was talking about it to some friends and families and whatever, um, that this about my decision of cutting my hair. And they would be like, why would you cut your hair? That's so manly, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, why wouldn't I? It's just hair. They would act way too attached to my hair. Like, sister, it's just hair. And I'm all weird, okay? When someone tells me not to do something, and I don't like your arguments, you better believe I'ma do it, okay? Why am I like that? I don't know. But hearing people being like, oh no, that's weird, that's manly. Oh, you have such beautiful hair, what would you cut them, blah, blah, blah. I was like, <laughs> Watch me. Watch me cut my hair, sis. So yeah, I wanted to just embrace my natural beauty, I would say. Because I felt like I was always hiding behind my hair. Like always like long braids that wasn't my hair, it was extensions. I would rock like sewins, weaves, wigs, and whatever. And I would get so many compliments like, wow, you look 
good but I felt like it was just too much about the hair and not enough about me I don't know if y'all get me but whatever so like I just decided that yo and I don't care <laughs> don't get me wrong I don't depend on people's compliments I appreciate it I'll be like oh thank you but I won't depend on it okay and also for myself I love the way I look with braids with weaves okay I would look real cute hair long money long me and broke we don't get along hair long money long me and broke we don't get along but I was like, I need to embrace this face more. I need to embrace my real my real self a little more. So I wanted to get the hair out of the way and just be me, be my natural self and be myself as natural as I could. So I took an appointment to the barber and he passed that clipper in my hair and cut everything. And I was like, my, 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 how's it called? My scalp was cold. I was freezing. I was like, this is not normal. But once the barber cut my hair, I was like, Oof, okay, no, I'm not sure. But after I dyed my hair, I dyed it red. I was like, eh. <laughs> she's cute and whatnot. But yeah, so it was just a self-love, self-appreciation journey that I went on almost a year ago. I just wanted to see who Anna was, you know? What does she look like without all this hair? that she's hiding behind you know that's it I didn't like the fact that not everyone don't get me wrong but the fact that we give too much importance to hair it's just hair why are we so attached to it like it will grow it is growing right now I didn't even want it to grow that much but since the barbers are closed my hair is growing like crazy right now so it's coming back I'm gonna start rocking braids again because that's a protective style that I really enjoy it's easy to deal with and I'm all about easy and my battery is about to die but it's <laughs> that's beside the point so this is mostly it I wanted to put out there why I cut my hair um now I am letting it grow <laughs> I'm not an expert in hair whatsoever. Having short hair, I feel like I had a little more control over my hair. I could style it a little easier, wash it easier. And fun fact, I can't even, like when I have my hair, hair. As I mentioned, I said I did my hair when I was 22 years old. I still needed my mama to come part my hair for me to put the shampoo on my scalp to be able to wash my hair properly. If she wouldn't help me, I couldn't wash my hair properly. That's how much hair I had and so little patient also I had. I want to document also my hair growth journey, my health care journey. I'll try to put more effort into it. If you want to take a jump, any type of jump, whatever it is, my jump was cutting my hair and proving to myself that I, I am not defined by my hair. I am beautiful with or without my hair because the outside look doesn't define who you are. And whatever, it, all of that to say, for me, it was my hair, but I don't know what it is for you, but if there's the, a jump that you're trying to make and people around you are telling you, I was editing and my camera died on me, okay, and it stopped recording. So what I was saying is my jump for me was cutting my hair and just proving something to myself or whatever. The the moral of this video or whatever is just, I don't know what jump you are trying to take in your life currently. Maybe it's something as small as just cutting your hair or I don't know, starting a business or I don't know, whatever it is, just do it. Don't let people around you discourage you from from realizing the things that are dear to your heart just take the jump do it and then you'll see you'll never know until you do it all right so whatever it is everything will be fine and just don't live a life full of regrets don't be like oh what if what if I hate being like oh what if you know as long as it makes you happy it's good enough so yeah well, that's it for this video I just wanted to do a quick outro because my mama raised me right okay thank you for watching this video until the end if you haven't yet subscribed please do follow me on instagram i'll put my name right here take care of yourself i appreciate every single one of you and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.